Welcome to Music Production Tricks. First, I'd like to thank you for choosing my course. I'll do my best to share my knowledge with you that, I hope, will help you with your work and expand your passion. I divided this course into several theme-oriented modules where you'll find tips on organizing your work on your computer and your DAW software, as well as a lot of advice on sound creation, mixing and mastering process. Here, I used my own sound clips, as well as commissioned work, and some I created just for the purpose of this course. Some of those you'll find as additional download material, which you can then use for practicing techniques. Keep in mind that while I present my sound clips and explain the use of a particular tool or a series of tools and their influence on the sound, I tried to use the bypass function, which allows to momentarily deactivate a given audio processor, and by doing so, it can sometimes cause minimal sound artifacts to appear. This is a natural side effect while working with real-time plugins and therefore shouldn't be taken into consideration because it doesn't affect the final mixdown of your production. I recommend listening to those sound examples several times on your studio monitor speakers as well as your headphones. And when comparing different sound processors, it's recommended that you do so on the same volume levels. I made some examples louder on purpose so you can clearly hear and understand the difference in sound processing. So please keep this in mind when listening to the audio clips that are in this course. In the additional materials for the course, apart from the audio files, you'll find a PDF file with a list of links and subsidiary materials. There is also a list of all free and premium audio processors and virtual instruments used in this course. Finally, I'd like to wish you fruitful learning and hope that this course will be as helpful as inspiring.